What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to show you my recommended export settings for ScreenFlow 5 on the Mac. Here we go. So the clip that I will be exporting is just a short clip of me playing Minecraft. There's really nothing else to it. It's super short, just a really short screen recording. And um, nothing has been added to this clip. There are no effects that have been added to the clip. It is just a plain clip. So with your clip in your timeline, what you want to do is you want to head to File, and then you want to click Export. So to quickly start this off, I'm just going to name my file ScreenFlow test. And under dimensions, we're going to go here first because I want to make something clear. I'm going to click scale to custom size. You want to make note of the screen size you are filming on. Notice the width is 1440, the height is 900. I am not going to scale it to 1920 by 1080 because that is bigger than the screen and the quality will not look that great. So I am just going to scale it down to 1280 by 720. Um, under the preset menu, there should be a customize button. Just click on that. Make sure that your preset is web high. So let's click on customize. And I'm going to set my frame rate at 60 frames per second. So that way I can, if I, if I want to bring it into an editor later, usually I will bring it down to 30. But since YouTube allows 60 frames per second, why not give it a shot? For the data rate, I'm going to bring it to about 4,000. That is what I've been doing recently. And everything else is fine. I, I do not really change everything else. So click OK. And then I usually click use motion blur only if my mouse cursor is present if I'm doing a tutorial. If you are doing a uh, let's play, I do not recommend turning this on because it looks kind of sloppy. So make sure your file location is selected and then click export. Once the file is done exporting, let's check and see how it looks. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will happily answer it. If you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe for more cool content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below as well. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, and I am signing off. Everything into one place easily. Recently, you can now upload files 10 gigabytes in size, which is a nice thing to have if you are working on videos constantly like myself.